Hello everyone! Welcome back to my porch. I'm glad you could join me today. We are continuing our journey in the 100 days of believing bigger. And today our scripture reading comes from Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6. It says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Our devotional author writes, when it comes to trust, remember we're talking about total reliance upon spiritual timing, not just partial trust in the areas where we feel the odds are in our favor. We must become intentional when it comes to no longer trusting the wrong things like yourself your experience, your intellect. You may be good, but God is great. God's got a higher, wider, and more eternal view. This is a special time to trust God with your whole heart, especially the parts you've been holding back out of fear or of fully letting go. Disbelief disrupts our destiny. We block miracles when we give God just a small piece versus all of us. It can seem scary, and that's okay. God isn't afraid of or turned off by your emotions or feelings. Instead, he wants you to know to bring those cares and worries to him. Even in the midst of frustration, know that every detour and delay has been divinely orchestrated. Remember, God knows the ideal timing for you to arrive at your destination. Are you on a journey today? Are you heading somewhere? Do you have a particular destination in mind? I know for myself, I had everything planned out, right? Ladies, you know, we're really good at this. I started planning my wedding when I was in high school and, and how my husband was going to be and how my kids were going to be and just how my life was going to be like. I was going to have that beautiful two-story old-timey farmhouse with a picket fence around the front yard and everything was going to be perfect, right? Not so much. Although that's the destination I had in my head, that is not what God had determined was the correct thing for me. That is not the destination that God had laid out for me. He gave me a husband who was very, very different from what I had envisioned for myself. My children are amazing and beautiful but not always what I had thought my kids would be like when I was younger. And it's amazing to me how every time I watch them grow, every time I watch them change, how I understand that God had led me through something so that I can impart some sort of wisdom for them to carry on. We have to trust in Him. And it's not easy. Letting go of ourselves, like our devotional author says, and allowing God to be in every part of our being, to be everything for us, is really difficult to do. It is hard to trust God when we don't have that tangible thing in front of us, right? We're in this physical realm, and we want to have a physical being sitting here with us telling us this is the right thing to do, and instead we have... The spiritual gifts that are given us, wisdom that is imparted to us from God. And we have to trust in Him and His timing. And it most of the time, honestly, isn't our timing. But I encourage you today, no matter what destination you have in mind or what adventure you're on today, to put your trust in God. I guarantee you that the end result will be much better than you could have ever planned for yourself. Brothers and sisters, I love you, but more importantly, God loves you. I pray you have a blessed day, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.